Okay, so we're going to add some isolated foundation, structural foundation. So you want to go to the top of footing. Okay, structure isolated. If you don't have this, you need to load the family. Okay. Now, it might seem that uh, you want to load this, but this is a concrete column and it will not load. So you have to go up, further up, structural, and look for structural foundation. So not columns, but foundation. Okay, from here, you can select which one? Footing. Okay, footing rectangular. Right? If you haven't loaded this, this is where you can find it. Again, make sure, right, you know the folders. You're accustomed to the folders. Okay? And then it's a 750 by 750 by 300. So edit the type, duplicate, name it 750 by 750 by 300. And make sure you also change the dimension. So that's just the type name. Make sure you change the values. So foundation thickness is 300. The width is 750 and the length is also 750. Once you have created that, click OK. And you can also say at grid. Okay. So you're at the top of footing level. At grid. Crossing. And finish okay. you can you can actually go to the whole grid uh, but not grid number two since you also have uh, footings here okay. so I'm only doing this side as a demonstration okay but you do need to do it at the other side as well And then go to your section view. Okay, can't find my footing. The reason for that is I have this crop view, right? So it's cropping right down or there exactly where my top of footing is, or it's not showing my top of footing. So I bring that down. Okay. If you don't want to see this box. You can always say crop region visible, uncheck that, okay, so it looks more beautiful without the box. But if you need to edit that crop view, you can click, make it visible, and extend the crop, okay. So we're going to turn it off, and again, make sure you double check. Check in a 3D view, check in a section view. Okay. 